At first it seemed Jedi bodies vanished at the point of death. But some stay very visible. The Kai Grizans present Star Wars Lore Episode 8, Disappearing Jedi. Firstly, let's go back to the death of Qui-Gon Jinn. We all remember he was defeated by the young Zabrak Darth Maul in Episode 1. It was from Qui-Gon Jinn that Yoda and Obi-Wan learned how to become one with the Force at the moments of their death, making their bodies disappear and returning as Force Ghosts. This skill had been lost to the Jedi for a long time, but it was passed down the new Jedi Order founded by Luke Skywalker. Just a little fun fact, some Jedi could even manipulate their bodies after death. For example, Mara Jade allowed her body to remain corporeal, only disappearing at her funeral in an attempt to expose her murderer. So why don't all Jedi's bodies disappear when they die? Maybe it's simply to add dramatic impact. Whether it was Qui-Gon speaking his last words or Obi-Wan's cloak hitting the ground, they did all add drama and symbolism of their passing. Many Jedi died in the prequels, but it would be overly dramatic if they all disappeared. But the fact that bodies do and don't disappear shows the changes in the Jedi characters. In the original trilogy, Yoda and Obi-Wan are now wise old men, past their warrior days, and the fact their bodies disappear reflects this change. From this episode, we can conclude that the ability to become at one with the Force is not something typical, and only those who are strong in the Force can do this. We also now know that Qui-Gon was useful for something after all. If you want to learn more about someone or something from the Star Wars universe, leave a comment down below. For more Star Wars lore, keep it locked here to the Kangrazans.